we have a, a quite a blurred view of seasonal food and being a farmer as well as a chef obviously I grow food so uh, I see seasons are very important to me because it's obviously part of my work process. Uh, I think we have very obviously very blurred you know there's lots of supplies and things like for example strawberries all the year round so sometimes we don't actually take what's in season and really embrace it and I think we're not just transporting food we're also transporting water because a lot of this food that comes into this country is packed on ice. So we're taking water from people who don't have very much water. So it's, it's all kind of quite jumbled up and I think we eventually will pay the price. I'm not an environmentalist, I don't really understand the full impacts of it, but all I know is that we will pay the price sometime down the line. The benefits of eating seasonal and, and, and as locally as possible is that we support, not only do we support the British food producers and British agriculture, but we um, actually get food in its absolute prime and also quite cheaply as well because if you eat in season there's an abundance, so the price is incredibly good. So if you're in a work situation like a restaurant and you're using seasonal food, obviously uh, your profit margin is much higher, uh, and which is obviously why people are in business. But also, your uh, guests are getting the absolute best food at the right season uh, and, and, and all the foods go together so now we're getting game but we'll have root vegetables coming in that go so well with it we've got the elderberries on the trees so it all you know nature knows what it's doing and sometimes we try and alter that but actually we're not right if we do I think that in this country we are lucky because we have seasons and that is makes very defined sort of classes on our food really and if people try to stick to those seasons I think they'd probably enjoy the food a lot better.